Jesus, freezing in there. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> or did you have a problem with the lights, was it? We get stuck in a hot box. I was going to say, so yeah, it is. You just kind of nice hot. and nice and refreshing. I, it, was, it is. It, stop, it stops us falling asleep. You see. Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> and if, and so it's, um, you're just going to have to you're going to have to man, to man up, Brian. And, and that's what you uh, get, get, get on with it. He's in a t-shirt. Yep. <laughs> I know. This is it. I'm in a t-shirt. That's the problem. Yeah, completely not dressed for the conditions. Um, this question to both of you. Mm. Um, in terms of criteria from what you adapt from the source material to the finished script, was there a criteria with this? I mean, do you have a, a standard criteria that you apply, or how does it work? No, you sort of go on your instincts, really, because if you read a book and you react you know, you know, in, in a good way to the book and you like yeah. it and think it could make me a good film, um, it's never a case of just you know, copying the book out into a script. You've always got to, you know, it, a book is very different to a film. So. But you always got to just write it and bear in mind what it was about that experience of reading it that really appealed to you and make sure you retain those aspects of it. So why did you like the book? What characters did you like? Why did you like those characters? And, and make sure that that's what you kind of, that's the, that's the thread that you follow. So every, in, in a way, every book is a bit, is a bit different in that regard. You know, you, you, it's, there's not a particular pattern that you follow each time. But does I accept, you know, like make a great movie? We should write that on a post-it note at the top. Make a great yeah. movie. And what I mean by that, actually, yeah. it's not as silly as it sounds, is, is well, you know... It shouldn't be silly at all, though. It's not silly at all. Let's set out to make a great movie. Very good idea. Very good idea. But to remind yourself that you, you know, it, it's a film and a film and telling ah, and telling a story on yeah. films. Yeah, I had a point. Oh, yes, I, I understand your point. Is now make a good movie <laughs> as opposed to make a good, a good book. A good book, exactly. A good exactly. book and a good movie is you know, two, two different things. They yeah. are completely different, yeah, yeah. and um, that mm. and that means that you're going to have to make changes. Yeah. Um, and luckily, we got to work with uh, a fantastic author, Philip Reeve, who's so generous. Mm. Um, and you get to step into his imagination every day when you go to work, which is awesome, um, because everything he writes feels completely real, which I love. Which is important. That's what yeah. that's what we try and do in our films too. Is that no matter how fantastical this sort of world is here, you mm. you want to still make it believable on yeah. some level. So yeah. But you know that you're not going to get everything from the book, of course, yeah. onto, onto the film. So so make a great movie, and that means, you know, keeping in mind pace of the yeah. storytelling uh, and, and you know where the audience's head is at who are they following have you set things up and are you paying them off are you asking them to invest in something that you that goes nowhere yeah. which is like a, 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 a mortal sin so yeah um i've won time for one question how Sorry. come you didn't direct this well it was i mean it was actually a very simple decision at the end of the day because um We've known Christian for 25 years. Yeah. He's worked, for, worked with us. Um, he, he wrote to me. A, he wrote a, my first fan letter was from a 15-year-old schoolboy, which was Christian. And so I, you know, and 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 he's done incredible work um, on the films in different capacities. You know, he won an Academy Award on King Kong for visual effects, and on The Hobbit, he did um, a lot, lot of second unit, um, second second unit, you know, directing like the, the barrel scene with the dwarves going yeah, yeah, the river. Yeah. And they, these were really great scenes. And I was watching him on set, you know. Um, handling the actors really well, and I thought, wow. And, and his ambition is to, is to uh, you know, to be, to become a feature film director. And I just thought, look, after 25 years of being, of doing such great work for us, I, I really wanted to help him make his first film. Yeah, and like. coming out, out of the Hobbit, he was he was really, he was he was all set to go. And um, mm -hmm. this was our first project, um, you know, after the Hobbit. And I just thought, wow, this is actually the, this is the ideal film for him, ideal film. And, and so it was really all about. You know, if, if Christian wasn't around, then I then I would have I would have done it. But we just had someone who deserves to have a feature film career, and um and, and we also wanted to be part of of helping him helping him get it. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting the wrap. I'll talk to you <laughs> there. Okay. Thanks for that. <laughs> this weapon can wipe out the largest city in the blink of an eye. Not if we shut it down. Nothing can stand in the face of this. We have to stop London before it destroys us. You sure you want to do this? Once we go in, there's no going back. I have to.